Homicides involving an intimate partner are a rising epidemic in the United States, regardless of how rich and famous the victim might be. Poltergeist star Dominique Dunn had left her sous chef boyfriend John Thomas Sweeney and was filming the miniseries V at the time of her death. On October 30, 1982, Dunn was on the phone with a friend when an operator cut into the call. Dunn said, Oh God, it's Sweeney, let me get him off the phone. Ten minutes later, Sweeney, who'd been physically abusive during their relationship, showed up at Dunn's West Hollywood home. The pair got into an argument on the driveway while Sweeney's friend David Packer stayed inside. When Packer heard Dunn scream, he rushed out to find her on the ground. Sweeney told police officers on the scene, Man, I blew it. I killed her. I didn't think I choked her that hard, but I don't know. I just kept on choking her. I just lost my temper and blew it again. Dunn fell into a coma and died five days later on November 4, 1982. She was only 22. In May 1998, fans of 49-year-old comedy legend Phil Hartman were devastated when the star was shot by his wife of 10 years, Bryn Omdahl. She then turned the gun on herself. At the time of the murder-suicide, there was cocaine, alcohol, and Zoloft in Omdahl's system. Their two children were in the house when their parents died. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, friend of the family Rita Wilson said, The thing that freaks everyone out is that this was not them. He was a great dad, she was a really good mom. This is so uncharacteristic of how they were together. <laughs> what makes me the happiest? Well, without question, it's being a father. At the time of his death, Hartman was starring in news radio. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, actor Stephen Root recalled the cast's deep sadness as they went forward without Hartman, saying, The rest of that season, we would have a cardboard cutout of him just peeking around the corner, almost on every show. In early 1980, 20-year-old Dorothy Stratton was named Playmate of the Year. A few months later, she was dead. Stratton's husband, Paul Snyder, was a pimp who scouted her as a teenager in Vancouver and sent her photo to Playboy. He said she's going to be a star. By the time of her death, she'd moved on from him both professionally and romantically, starring in films like They All Laughed and dating director Peter Bogdanovich. Meanwhile, Snyder's career was going nowhere. On August 14th, Dorothy went to her estranged husband's house to discuss the terms of their separation. Snyder sexually assaulted Dorothy, killed her with a 12-gauge shotgun, then shot himself. Bogdanovich was heartbroken. He chose a quotation from Ernest Hemingway's A Farewell to Arms for the inscription on Stratton's headstone. It reads in part, The world kills the very good and the very gentle and the very brave impartially. If you are none of these, you can be sure it will kill you too, but there will be no special hurry. Actor and dancer Stephanie Mosley, known for the cheerleading comedy Hellcats and VH1's dance drama Hit the Floor, was shot to death by her husband, rapper Earl Hayes, on December 8, 2014. Hayes, a former associate of boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr., then died by suicide. 50 Cent later claimed that Mayweather was involved in the couple's split and may have actually witnessed the murder. In a now-deleted Instagram post from 2018, the rapper wrote, Tell everybody why you was on FaceTime when he killed Stephanie and himself. Because he was confronting you about f***ing his wife. While Floyd may not have seen it, he definitely heard it all. Following Mosley's death, stars like Rihanna, Ashley Tisdale, and Jennifer Lopez expressed their heartbreak. She's just loved. She will never, ever, ever, ever be forgotten. She is so loved. In 2013, South African model and law school graduate Reva Steenkamp was a young woman with a promising future. She'd started making TV appearances on shows like Tropica Island of Treasure and Baking Made Easy after years of modeling. Then she was shot dead by her boyfriend, Paralympian Oscar Pistorius. The pair began dating in November 2012. At his Pretoria home on Valentine's Day the following year, Pistorius fatally shot Steenkamp three times through the locked door of their bathroom. The Paralympian insisted he'd mistaken Steenkamp for a home invader and pleaded not guilty, but the case outraged the South African public who'd previously considered him a hero. Although Pistorius was initially convicted of manslaughter and sentenced to five years, an appeals court found him guilty of murder. His sentence was readjusted to 13 years after the court considered factors like his failure to fire a warning shot and the number of shots he fired. A representative for Steenkamp's parents stated, They feel there has been justice for Riva. She can now rest in peace. I miss you all so much. And I love you very, very much. Although April Jace was known for being the wife of actor Michael Jace, who played a police officer on the FX series The Shield, she was also an impressive track and field athlete who'd found success in her own right. 
In 2011, Jace was the fifth-ranked female sprinter in the country and took home a gold medal at the World Championships. But three years later, April was tragically killed by her husband. Police were called out to the couple's Hyde Park home after neighbors heard gunshots, and the actor quickly confessed to murdering his wife. Before killing her, Jace taunted his wife by shooting her in the legs. The couple's sons were present at the scene of the crime. Each time I have to see his face, even if it's from behind, it's really depressing. April's mother testified that her son-in-law texted her right after the murder on May 19th, writing, Come to the house. I shot April. Michael was ultimately sentenced to 40 years in prison. As the daughter of legendary actor Jean-Louis Trontigno and writer-director Nadine Marcon, Marie Trontigno was French film royalty. She built her own career as an actor and worked steadily throughout her lengthy career. But that career ended tragically in 2003, when Trantino died of cerebral edema days after being viciously beaten by French rock star Bertrand Canta. She'd been seeing Canta since splitting from her husband, but he was jealous that Trantino was still in touch with her ex. The actor was filming a movie in Lithuania when Canta flew into a violent rage and battered her until she fell into a coma. He claimed she'd accidentally hit her head against the wall. After an autopsy proved that Kanta was lying, he was tried and convicted of murder, but was released from prison after only four years. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. You can also find more information, resources, and support at their website.